Coach, heading into this season, what are you most looking forward to? I think for, for us, the, the energy, the passion, uh, the electricity that is college basketball, seeing that return to the arenas, uh, I'm really excited about that, especially here at home uh, in our arena, the CFSB Center. It's one of the great home court advantages in all of college basketball. So uh, really excited to see our fans back in, in the building. Uh, and then for me personally, I'm just really excited about the privilege to coach this group of players we have and excited about the opportunity to build our team. You, you talk about your group of guys. What do you like most about your team this year? Well, I think from a personnel standpoint, I would start with Tevin Brown and KJ Williams, uh, two guys have had the opportunity to coach now going into their fourth year, uh, both of them have been first team all league the past two seasons. I'm um, really excited about the opportunities ahead for them this year. I think our returning players uh, have really taken advantage of the off season to get better and improve. Uh, and then we're combining them with uh, a talented group of newcomers who I think will bring great experience and talent to our team. What do you see as the biggest challenge for you all this upcoming season? I think it's usually pretty similar every year. Uh, just building a team. Uh, I think we have talented players. Uh, I think we have a good mix of experience uh, and, and then pair that up with our newcomers. And, and now we've got to become a team. And that means there's going to have to be some sacrifice there. Uh, I think building your team chemistry is a process that takes time. Uh, and it has to be done intentionally. So I think that's going to be really critical to our success this year. You talk about being successful. So the building the team and the chemistry, is there anything else that you see that you must have this year to be successful? I, I think it all starts there. Uh, if you don't have good team chemistry, it doesn't matter how talented you are. Uh, it doesn't matter you know, what offense you run, what defensive system you implement. Uh, if, if you don't have everyone connected and committed to the culture of the program, uh, it's, it's hard to have great success. So that's where we try to put a lot of our time and emphasis on is, is creating a, a true team that's, that's committed to the great culture that's been established here at Murray State. Now, looking at the uh, overall conference, uh, what are your general impressions of the OVC for this upcoming season? I think when you start off talking about the league, you always have to look to the championship teams uh, from the previous year. And so I would start off right away with Belmont in the incredible regular season they had a year ago and returning all of those players. Uh, and then Moorhead State uh, as the tournament champion. So I think those two. Uh, you know, had, had terrific seasons last year. Uh, when you look at the rest of the league, uh, you know, you have three programs with new coaches who will come in and do a terrific job. Uh, I thought coach corn and Simo did a fantastic job in his first year and they return everybody. Uh, Tennessee techs had a, a great backcourt now, uh, for a couple years and, uh, expect that to continue this year. I, I think Tennessee state, uh, when you look at their recruiting class has added a lot of talent. Uh, so uh, I think the league will be very, very good this year. Uh, excited about the opportunities ahead for our team. 